Hi folks. So <laughs> you got to check this out. So I'm working on this um, this 351 modified engine. Now there was a, a time period back in the like late 60s, early 70s, where for some reason, and well, I know the reason, Ford and GM both. Well, you got to see this. So this is the timing setup for this 351 modified. And again, this is a, this engine's from 1977, but they got a plastic timing gear on it. And you can see where the teeth, it's a plastic coated gear. It's aluminum under here, but it's a plastic coated gear. And you can see where the plastic teeth are just chipping off of here. GM did the same thing, lest you think that Ford is the only one that, uh, lost their minds in the 60s and 70s. The idea behind this was that it would make the timing chain quieter. And so they put these plastic coated gears with these plastic teeth on here. Chevy did the same thing with their 350s in the 70s. So they had a fiber coated or a plastic gear. And what happens is these teeth start dry rotting or getting brittle and cracking and they fall down. If you look at the front, this is the oil pan here. Now it's wide open into the oil pan. The problem is these plastic teeth get down in the oil and they get sucked up into the pickup screen pickup. I've taken a lot of these apart where the pickup screen's almost completely clogged with these little plastic pieces. <clears throat> so you might run into this on some of these, these engines. Um, and and Basically, the only conclusion that I can come to is that, you know, it was, it was the 70s, and so the, the engineers were, you know, probably uh, smoking some weed because, in my mind, the only way that they could sit around and think that this was a good idea is if they were passing a joint around because this always ends up bad with these gears. So they thought, wow, we can make this plastic gear, you know, and it'll be quieter. And they did it a lot on the bigger engines that were like in luxury cars, like Lincolns and, and Chevy with Cadillacs, and they did it with some Oldsmobiles and stuff. But the plastic teeth always end up in the oil pan. I even had a situation where I was working on an Oldsmobile that had a small block Chevy in it from like 78 or 77. And what happened with GM is in the mid 70s, the the Oldsmobile plant went on strike, the Oldsmobile engine plant. So they started stuffing small block Chevys into the Oldsmobiles and they actually got sued for that class action lawsuit. But anyhow, that's irrelevant. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that I worked on an Oldsmobile that the plastic teeth completely stripped off of there. They all got in, they, they had been chipping off and getting into the oil oil pump pickup finally they stripped off and that engine bent the valves in the heads that was the first time i realized that there is a possibility that a chevy small block could be an interference motor depending on the valve size and the, and the piston configuration so it bent the valves in the heads it clogged up the oil pump starved the oil and wiped out the bearings and basically ruined the whole motor because of that plastic gear so if you ever run into this where you find a plastic gear on one of these, yeah, check the motor out real real closely and for goodness sake, don't ever put a new plastic gear back on there. So I just thought I'd throw that in. I pulled the cover off this and I'm like, wow, another plastic gear. Thank you Ford Motor Company and General Motors for that matter because they both did it. So hopefully uh, that gives you a little bit of insight, this little tidbit. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.